strong. I mean, he's cute, but like I'm really concerned about you. Maybe you've got a temperature. He's like all right if you like him tall. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Joe, also known as Jay-Z Production on YouTube. Today, I have an amazing and wonderfully talented guest. What is your name, miss? My name is Elisa Heinsen. Welcome. Thank <clears> you. <throat> Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Uh, I got a couple questions for you, Ms. Heinsen, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. So, uh, what are you doing during these times of quarantine? Oh, gosh. Well, I have a performing arts studio, and yeah. we, we did have to shut down gosh, in March for a week or two. And uh, then we just geared up again and did all of our classes on Zoom or as many classes as, as we could fill. Um, that, you know, at least we got to see the kids and they, even the adults, and they got to, you know, continue their, their training and uh, stay in shape. And um, yeah, we were just fortunate to be able to do that via Zoom. Um, and um, that kept us pretty busy, <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> during that whole um, beginning of the whole shutdown, that kept us really, really busy. But thankfully still in business. Thank, thank goodness. Yeah. It's probably different, right? The Zoom classes compared to like, from like, it was in, it's probably pretty different. I have to tell you, they're so much harder. I'm working twice as hard. It's good oh. for me. It's keeping me in good shape, but <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> And, yeah, and like at least you get like more technology knowledge too. I mean, like, right? I'm telling you, I, that's not my forte. But um, yeah, I know a lot about Zoom more than I ever wanted to know. So yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what made you want to become an actress, and who inspired you? Like, who's your biggest inspiration for acting? Very good question. Thank so, you. I can't remember a time that I didn't want to be well particularly a dancer when I first started out I I, I loved it it's where I felt felt uh, alive and most comfortable and most me um, I was a really really shy kid so shy I just wouldn't talk to anybody wouldn't answer the phone wouldn't answer the door I just was incredibly shy except when I was dancing so it just kind of it just made me feel alive that I didn't feel as a normal person, if that makes any sense. Okay. Um, so that's where it started. And I don't really ever remember thinking I wanted to do anything else. And then um, uh, I moved to the city and I met um, a guy named Roy Miller. He, oh. he was a, an actor at the time and he is the one who introduced me to uh, the theater and, and, um, acting and and singing and all of that. The first job I got in the city, I was 17 when I moved there, was um, Oklahoma. It was okay. the first, first audition I went on and um, ended up getting that job. But that is what motivated me to really um, kind of hone my, my other crafts as, you know, as in acting and singing. Um, I just fell in love with it. Just fell in love with it. Okay, now my inspiration, my gosh. There were mm -hmm. so many, I can't tell you. When I was very, very young, it would have been um, Allegra Kent. She was a, a ballerina, New York City Ballet. Um, and then as I got older, I have to say, Debbie Allen was, was one of my um, idols. Just loved her, and I, I got to work with her. I never even imagined that would happen, but I did get to work with her. She's amazing. Um, Jane Fonda. Oh, okay. That's, That's another good. one. <laughs> there are a lot, so I could go on and on, but <laughs> I'll leave it at that for now. Oh, yeah. As you believe it or not, like, you're actually, want, like, a, like, besides, like, directing, I also want to, like, maybe, like, do some, like, acting. You actually inspired me to become, like, an actor. You inspired me. Oh, thank Sounds you. <laughs> no problem. I, I really liked your character in fame because, like, my parents raised me on fame. So, like, I really like fame. Yeah, I did too. I was a yeah. huge fan of that show, huge. And um, that last season, they were looking for a couple of characters, um, well, a couple of kids and then a teacher, I think they hired as well, um, to, to play a teacher. And they came to New York to look for 
um, mm-hmm. look for some talent. And, you know, luckily for me, <laughs> yeah. I was one of them. And, um, you know, I, I, they never really said this had anything to do with it. But at the time I was doing 42nd Street on Broadway. Mm-hmm. And the first episode, yeah, I believe it was the first episode of my character was a show you may remember where Nia loses her voice. Mm. And they need to find someone to replace her, and they they get Jillian to do mm. it, and uh, she's deathly afraid of that. But the number that they were doing, or the show that they were doing, was mm-hmm. like a Forty Second Street style show. It was Tab? I think one of the first exterior shot dance shots was in front of the Metropolitan Museum on the stairs with a bunch of New York dancers just tapping away with. Mm-hmm. with oh, it was just. It was amazing. More than a dream come true because it's not anything I ever imagined I would do. <laughs> and I got to do it. It was very cool. I think you're a very talented actress, by the way. I think you're very Thank talented. Thank you. You have, like so a, kind. you have like an amazing and beautiful voice like when you sang in the show. Thank you. That's very kind. I studied really hard. Really hard. Um, and believe it or not, I still do. Um, my acting technique was a Meisner technique. Um mm-hmm. Very disciplined, but uh, my my upbringing and particularly in dance was very um, very disciplined. So it was it kind of blended and and connected for me. Um, highly recommend it, by the way. <laughs> Stanford Meisner is his name. Oh, okay, I like that. Okay, uh, what is your favorite role that you portrayed? If you could go like in your career, play, TV show, movie, etc. What's your favorite? So there were favorites for different reasons. Uh, that's kind of a cop out, isn't it? <laughs> but, <laughs> um, Jillian was one of them. Fame was was an amazing experience. I don't think, you know, n- n- since then they've done shows like Glee and things like that. But um, you know, gosh, to be able to get every every week to get to be able to sing and dance and 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 act with these amazing talented yeah. people that I used to watch, you know, and, and admire so much, um, years before that was, that was amazing. Um, and they had such a great rapport mm-hmm. together and they were very welcoming. Um, I didn't ever feel kind of left out. Um, it just kind of, I jumped right in and they, um, were very kind and welcoming and, and also kind of helped me along. You know, this was something brand new for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so it was good. You know, Debbie Allen, she was directing at the time. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was so in awe of her that mm-hmm. I had to kind of talk myself down <laughs> to be able to <laughs> to perform, really. Um, but just an amazing opportunity to, to be able to show off all of those things, you know, a multitude of things. In fact, they had me playing the piano, the bass guitar. Um, mm-hmm. Is that bass guitar? Is that redundant? Anyway, um, <laughs> so I got, you know, I was exposed to so many wonderful things in so many places because um, we sh- shot exterior shots in the city, oh. in uh, Manhattan. And then the second half of the shows that were shot were all shot on a soundstage, huge mm-hmm. sound soundstage that looks like it's outside, but it's mm-hmm. inside. Sweet. It's very cool. Um, and then Phantom was cool because, um, yeah. like Meg, because it was a huge success way before it ever opened on Broadway um, because it had done so well in London. Mm-hmm. Um, that was very exciting. So the first six months of that show, when they closed the curtain, all the celebrities that had seen the show that night, mm-hmm. they would parade them across the stage and we got to shake each, each of their hands. Oh. It was very cool. Yeah pretty much every celebrity you can think of at the time mm-hmm. came to see that show in the first six months. So that was super exciting. Um, yeah. So for every show that I did, there were, you know, fantastic reasons mm-hmm. why it would have been my favorite show, <laughs> whether it be the cast or, or the, the, uh, the director or the, the material itself. They're just so many reasons why I loved at each each show that I have done. Nice. 
Uh, uh, believe it or not, I've had like on like a variety of fame. Had. Like, do you know Mr. Cerberus, Michael? He played Michael. Ian. Yeah, had- of course. He so he and I got the show together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he is amazingly talented guy, and a I've- really nice guy. Yeah, he's cool. He's an awesome. Yeah. Guy. He's a pretty cool interview. I had him. He really is. Sorry to cut you off. Sorry. Okay. I had him, Olivia Barish. Yeah, no. Olivia. She was also, so she got hired kind of halfway through that last season mm. that Mia, um, they wrote, they, she, I hate to spoil it. If they're, if my, anyway, she, <laughs> Olivia, Olivia came on halfway through that season. I won't say why, but. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and she's then, lovely. Yeah. She's pretty cool. And then she, like, like, like these people, like, they tell, it's so cool, the experiences, like, to hear, like, what they had. I've had on, you know, Nia people, you know, Nia, I've had her on, Miss People. Yeah, she's so lovely and so amazing. Yeah. I've, I've had on, you know, Carlo and Parada. Yeah, yep. I, I had on, like, Danny. A, yeah. I've had, like, a variety of co-stars. Maybe, like, at the end of the podcast, I could show you, like, a link, and you could, like, oh, that's, like, my, one of my like, co-stars, you know? Uh, I would so, love it. Who yeah. else did you have? Billy Huffsey? No, I wish, but no, I haven't had him. Oh, yeah. Gotta get I, Billy. I need to get him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm I've sure had, you can get them all. You know, Valerie, Miss Lansbury. Valerie, I'm she's sure. such a lovely person. I don't know her. Um, she, we did a um, reunion show, the very last show of the season, of, you know, uh, because it was the very last show. They brought in all the original cast. Um, so, so well, and throughout the years as well. Yeah. And, uh, she just couldn't be lovelier. She's such a nice lady. Yeah. Yeah. I've had like a variety. Like I, when you see it, like, oh my God, I remember this person. <laughs> You'll like it. It's really cool. It takes you like down, trip down memory lane, I guess. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Very cool. I love it. Okay. Now if you could pick any role in any movie, TV show, play, etc., cetera, where would you have loved it on? But obviously you didn't, but you wish you could have, if you go back in time and do that role. Yeah. All of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, gosh, you know, watching yourself is one of the hardest things, or at least for me. Oh, my gosh, I would go back and just do a lot of things better or try, try to mm. do them better and have the experience I have now, mm. you know, apply that then. Oh, my gosh, I would love to do them all again. And they're all fun to do. So <laughs> I would love it. I could see you as like you know Back to the Future, that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I could see you as Jennifer, Marty's girlfriend. I could see that. Yeah. Oh, see that. All right. Well, direct it, and then I'll. I got you. I'll... <laughs> I got you. I'm there, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Over the years of your career, do you still keep in touch with your co-stars, directors, etc.? Like you know all the people in general. Do you still keep in touch? You know, through Facebook, okay. it, now, through Facebook, that's the amazing thing about Facebook is, wow, thing, people I never thought I would see again, um, I get to see and, and hear, uh, you know, hear about their lives. Um, gosh, otherwise, I don't, it's such a weird business, right? You you, you get a show or film or uh, anything, commercial, a- anything, and you become really tight and close with these people because you're working really intensely with them. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you're written in the story is you're very close, you know, whether you're, you know, um, family members or, or, or something like that. So you become really, really close for that amount of time that you're doing that show or, or film. Um, and then, you, you know, the show is over or you leave the show or whatever the circumstances are and you go to the next show and then you become really close with that cast. <laughs> It's such a very strange business, but you kind of get used to that, how that works. Mm-hmm. But usually when you get back together with the cast mem- member, no, no matter how much time has passed, usually it's like no time has passed at all. Mm-hmm. Nice. See, social media comes in handy though for that. Oh, like, you know, definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, who was the coolest person you've worked with? The coolest. Excuse me. Person. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, let me think back. So, uh, Carol Burnett did an, okay. an episode of Fame because her daughter, Carrie, um, 
who was fabulous and such a, a loss to this world. Um, that was very cool. I was a huge Carol Burnett fan, and so were my parents. <laughs> um, all right, let me think. Um, Michael Crawford was pretty cool. Okay. Very quiet guy. <laughs> like I got the feeling he was really shy. Mm, okay. Whereas people might think he was kind of arrogant. I, I related to him because <laughs> I was a shy person. He was just really shy. And the last, his last performance, which was a year later, a year after we opened, um, Sarah Brightman left six months after we opened. I think that was the contractually, that's how it worked. And then Michael Crawford left a year later, six months after Sarah. And his last performance was, he was so genuinely um, emotional. Mm, mm. Spoke to the audience, like we kept the curtain up and and, uh, and he spoke to the audience about how he was feeling. And he was through that, all that makeup and all that, and that mask, he was just, uh, just, Tears were just rolling down his face as, as they were for us as well. But that was cool. That was really cool. He was, Sarah was, Sarah's the sweetest lady, just the nicest, nicest lady. She kind of was on vocal rest all day long. So mm -hmm. she didn't really talk much. But mm -hmm. during the show, um, she couldn't be nice. She was just the beautiful, beautiful inside and out. Okay. So I could go on and on, but <laughs> oh. Oh. wait, I have one more. Barbara Eden. I did a show with Barbara oh, awesome. Eden. That's awesome. Do you know Barbara? Do you know her? I dream a genie. I dream a genie. She, we would go around backstage to, doing that, the whole show. Mm -hmm. she, she, another very cool lady. Mm -hmm. I would love to say to you, you know, of the people that I've met that they've, they've been jerks, but really they're not. They're really genuinely good nice super talented people nice see yeah. believe me, like I, I was raised my parents they raised me on 50s through 90s so i know like lots of tv shows movie music <laughs> yeah so. that's cool that's the best <laughs> the best of the best in those years yeah okay so uh what director taught you the most and which director would you love to work with Okay, so I learned a, a little, uh, I learned a lot actually, not a little, that's, I misspoke. I learned a lot from each and every one of them. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Debbie directed a lot, not all of them. She directed a lot of the, that last couple years, I think, but my year with fame. Um, again, one, another thing that she was so good at, you know, she's such a talented lady, she can do everything. She was a really good director. <laughs> and I would just watch how, one, she would talk to the cameraman. They all, did, well, in a film or television series, they all were like very, very one-on-one -on -one with the camera operator. Mm -hmm. The director of photography, I should say, not the camera operator. So there's a director of photography and the camera operator. Um, she was, in other words, her, she had her hand in every detail, not just the actors. Mm. Yeah, it was very cool. And I'm, I'm assuming that that's just kind of what really good directors do. You, yeah. you, you, you have an eye for everything. Mm -hmm. um, um, Wynne Phelps, I think, was the other director. I mean, there were actually quite a few that I had that year, but, but um, all of them really quite amazing. Um, Hal Prince was um, phantom. And I, I'll never forget what he said. He hires... Um, who he thinks is the most talented for that role. And then he lets them um, do what they do and he molds. Mm, okay, that's cool. Isn't that cool? <gasps> kind of draws out what they, what they have and then he mm. just molds it into place oh. and stages. Oh. Yeah, I will never forget that. I was so, I mean, how many amazing people, talented people has he worked with him being amazingly talented as well? or was, um, yeah, that was a cool statement. And Graziella Danielle, mm -hmm. um, she was a dancer. Then she, she transitioned into choreography and then she transitioned into directing. Mm. She was cool. And her husband is a lighting guy. So again, she had her 
hand in everything, the lighting and, and what colors um, were appropriate for what the emotion was that was happening on the stage at the time. Very, very interesting. Very cool. I used to sit and take notes, <laughs> watch her take notes. She was one, again, another idol of mine. I had auditioned for her a couple of times and at the audition for Ragtime, she said to me, wait, haven't we worked together before? And I said, I wish. But, and then I got to work with her, yeah. She'd known me so, many, so much because I've auditioned for her so many times. But yeah, she's quite amazing. Um, yeah, I could go on and on. But anyway, I don't want to take up all your time. All good. That's all good. <laughs> Is there a director you like to work with? Like, do you have a work with yet? Good question. Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> I think on that one. Oh yeah, Joe. That's right. I would like to work with you, Joe. <laughs> I already said that though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to think on that one and get back to you. Oh okay. yeah, that happens. Okay. Now, uh, if you were an actress, what would your career be? And what other interests and hobbies do you have besides, you know, acting, you know, teaching, etc.? So wait, say that first part of the question again. Sorry about that. Uh, if you weren't an actress, what would your career be? Sorry. <laughs> like I said, you know, I can't really remember um, when I didn't know what I wanted to do. All right, let me think this through. <laughs> um, gosh. Excuse a teacher. Let's see that. Hard question. I, you know, I. I do enjoy teaching. I do enjoy that. Um, it takes a, a very um, um, patient. I, I have a lot of, of admiration for teachers. I only really have, you know, kids for an hour and a half or an hour in a class. Where these teachers have them all day. I so I've really learned to appreciate teach teachers. Um, you have to have patience. I just, what I think I like about it is that it's, it's what I know. It's, it's, it's really the only thing I know. So if mm. I can pass that along, mm. I, that makes me happy. I like to do that. Um, gosh, what would I do? I probably, it would be, it would be something physical. I've always been kind of a physical kind of person. Uh, my dad was a big athlete, so we used to. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah. Swim, play tennis, ski, um, mm. yeah, all of that. So it would probably be something to do with some sort of sports, probably. Nice. Okay. Now, uh, what's your uh, favorite band and type of music? It's around the topic. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, probably my favorite type of music would be um, rock and roll, 70s rock and roll. Nice, nice. That's good music. I'm sorry. Nice. That's good music. That's good music. Um, my God. Uh, favorite band. So it would be. Mm, I used to love Ario Speedwagon. I, uh, I can't sing. Them. <laughs> oh God, Sticks. Oh, those are good. That also brings back a lot of memories from my high school years. You know what I mean? So I would have to say that. Yeah. Those are my favorite. They're both from like out in Illinois. That's where I'm at in Illinois. So there you go. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, yeah, I actually got to meet my favorite band, believe it or not. Really? Who? Okay, they're seventies, eighties, and nineties, but their lead singer passed away in the nineties. Do you know the band? They still tour. Do you know the band? Uh, I give you another hint if that helps. We are the champions. Oh, my friend. <laughs> I know the song. Um, who sings that? Who is it? Queen. Queen. I love Queen. I do love Queen. <laughs> I met Brian, the guitarist, and Roger, the drummer. I actually met them. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. So you, you saw them live and you got to meet them? Mm hmm. Oh, very cool. Very I like that. Cool. Yeah. That's very cool. And then, quick question: Since we're on the music, the top of music, it's up to you. Like, do you do you, if you remember the words? Do you remember the words of the the Romeo song? Like, he looks like Romeo to me, or so. You know, what I'm talking about from Fame. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Like Romeo to me. 
That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I love that song, though. <laughs> it's a really that's good song. Cool. This, that's what's so cool about that show is you, they wrote this music, right? Mm -hmm. They orchestrated it. They recorded it. Then we had to learn it in a day. Wow. And then record it. Um, and then when we performed it, it was a click track. So we would basically, you know, sing along with ourselves, basically, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, kind of lip sync. Uh, um, that was, that was kind of a complicated thing because you oh. really do have to sing along with yourself to get your mouth to match your, the click track. Yeah. Oh. That was an interesting thing. And then you move on to the next song. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not like a show, a Broadway show where you sing that over and over and over and over again every night for months and months. You mm -hmm. just kind of move on to the next uh, yeah. episode, yeah. Do you have a favorite fame song then? Like, uh, you know, like since you watched it and then your time on fame, like, do you have a favorite? Uh, it's got to be the theme song. Theme song? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, what is your favorite sports and favorite team from the sports? That's tricky. Sorry. So, you know, my... It would have it would have been when I was a kid, mm -hmm. my dad's favorite team, right? Um, but now it's uh, I'm married to uh, Mark Bovey, who you might want to interview. A um, lot of lot of done a bunch of Broadway shows, but he's a Pittsburgh uh, Steelers fan. He's from Pittsburgh, so I'd have to say the Steelers because we have to watch we have to watch the Steelers and we have all the Steelers paraphernalia and I have the whole costume, the Steelers costume. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i would say the steelers even oh, though i'm living in New so, is, so is football your favorite team then i mean your favorite sport <laughs> well um i think it's probably the most exciting for me to watch you know if, if i'm watching on a television um but my son plays baseball he's a big mm. baseball guy so i like to watch him play baseball mm. okay <laughs> Okay. And you guys got Big Ben with the Steelers. He's really good. Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger. Yep. Yep. They love Ben. <laughs> okay. My favorite food would be pizza. Okay. Ice cream, chocolate chip oh. cookies. Nice. Hopefully when things get back to normal, sooner or later, are there any projects you have in the works? I don't. Well, so what I'm doing right now is writing. Okay. Um, uh, a show, oh, nice. just okay. really just to give my, um, so I sort of have a company of, of, uh, students that mm -hmm. we do a musical every, every season, every spring. And, um, I was trying to figure out how to do that and ex how we do it with masks and or partitions or staying that far apart. How do we do that? Except to write about what's happening right now. So. I'm actually in the process of doing that. Mm. I know you said you wanted to be a writer. I, I, I do like to write. I don't know how good I am, but I, I do like, I, I like it. I like to do it. Well, if you need any ideas, I could shoot some of your way. Got you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll take you up on that. Okay. So uh, what advice would you give pe younger people or people in general who want to become an actress, a actor? What's your advice? So one piece of advice that a woman gave to me, her name is Margie Haber. She's, um, she teaches in Los Angeles, all kinds of workshops and classes, acting classes. Mm -hmm. And she has this, um, method of cold reading, um, mm -hmm. how to cold read. It's, it's actually kind of a brilliant way to, to, um, to do a cold read in an audition. Anyway, she gave me a really good piece of advice. She gave me a couple of really good pieces of advice. One was learn to love to audition because mm -hmm. you audition a lot as an actor. You're mm -hmm. always looking for a job. So learn to love that process. And when you love it, when you, when they see this, that you love what you're doing in an audition, that that's going to come through and that's going to come across. Whereas a lot of us, a lot of actors kind of dread those auditions, learn to just look, look forward to them and, and love to do them. That was one. And two is, be the best you you can be. And if you being, you know, the best director, writer, actor, singer, dancer, whatever it is that you do, be the best at it, 
Because mm -hmm. if you don't do that, somebody else is going to be the best at it, right? So be the best at what you do and be you. Because no one's going to be you better than you. Yes. So okay. I always try to pass those, piece of, uh, those pieces of advice along because they really helped me. They really kind of changed my life around. I like that advice. And believe it or not, it was funny. <laughs> I actually made a quote in sixth grade. If you try your best every day, you'll be the best you could be. <laughs> so like, that kind of ties along to that, right? I love that. Yeah. <laughs> And just try, try to be your best. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. No one's perfect. But yeah, I love that. Thank you. That's like the motto I go by. If you try your best, it's my motto. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Thank I'll you. use that. Sounds good. Okay. So uh, is there anything I like to promote and shout out? I can link down below. Um, gosh, maybe just um, it, it's broadwayperformingarts.net. Okay. Just like that. <sighs> yeah yeah okay yeah i'll link that i'll say check make sure to book some classes now to yeah perfect yeah. thank you well i thank you all so much for watching thank you again miss heinson for being an awesome and amazing guest thank you thank you it's fun yeah i was awesome <laughs> it's <was> really cool <laughs> have a great day everybody and stay awesome and stay awesome miss heinson thank you so, so much you too Where you start paying and sweat.